Hi there, Steve Stein here again. I'm going to show you how to play an easy version of So Easy by Philip Phillips. Um, I've had a lot of requests for this one. We're using G, D, E minor, and C. G, D, E minor, and C. So what I'm going to do is with those chords, again, G, you could play it as a three finger or a four finger or however you normally play it. Some people even use just an easy G or an easy C. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just play this and kind of show you what it sounds like with a strumming pattern. So my strumming pattern is essentially going down, down, up, up, down, up. And I'm doing that over and over and over again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So if you've never done this before, that's something that you should really try and practice is just watching my hand and focusing on that. You might even walk around the house just going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, trying to get that idea in your head. It's a great general strum that you can use for a lot of different songs, but it works really well with this particular song. So I'm going to do that strumming pattern twice, then I'm going to head over to a D chord, then E minor, and then C. Now again, if you'd rather use C add 9 or something like that, it's perfectly fine. back to G again. So I just keep doing that over and over and over. Now if this strumming pattern seems too difficult for you, the best thing you can do is just start off by strumming single strums. So for instance, you might just go then you're switching you know, just over and over and over. And then once you get that strumming down a little bit, you get your chords in place, and maybe try and strum a little bit more. Maybe I strum on one and three, which are half notes. You see, and then you just keep adding more and more. The second thing you do is you don't worry about the song, you don't worry about the chords at all, you just practice. practice that and then slowly you start learning how to put these two pieces together and then you start playing it with the with the uh, the pattern of the song so I'm going G and so on you just keep building that up now there is the availability for you as well, if this all makes perfect sense, is to play G, like you normally do, and then go to D, but use your thumb on the sixth string, on the second fret, and create what's called a D F sharp chord. It's a D chord with F sharp in the bass. You can take your thumb around and press on that. So if you want to kind of spice up your chords a little bit with this song, you could do that. So you've got G, here comes that D F sharp. So a quick little tutorial to teach you how to play that song. Hopefully that works for you. And make sure you let me know if you have any questions about anything.